Hello? Okay. So this is... <laughs> okay. Uh, Gerhard Lesch was supposed uh, to have this, uh, this talk. Um, unfortunately, due to strikes in Germany at the airport, he couldn't come here. And so he asked me uh, to cover for him. My name is Matthias Hahn. I work uh, in Munich Intel Corporation. The Internet of Things and Intel, from idea to product to market. Well, go back in your past. Just think of you were full of creativity. You had ideas how to, um, well, mark the carpets, how to tour newspapers, how to do a lot of things, a lot of creativity. And what about this creativity? Do we, do you, do we still have this creativity when we become adult? Well, you may argue no, you may argue yes. I think there is still a lot of creativity even in our days. But the even harder part is, if there is creativity, if we do have ideas, how to come from the idea to the product and then how to bring it to market. That's the tough part. The idea, yeah, we do have it. Now, how to bring it there. Let's go back in past again. Let's think of those people in the uh, end of the 18th century, 70, 70, James Watt building this huge machine, um, the steam engine. Everybody knows about it. Well, he required a lot of money. He required the right environment, the right country, the right time, a lot of constraints. It was very hard to be a James Watt this, uh, these days. Of course, it required his um, ingenious mind as well, but a lot of constraints. Let's move to our days. Well, we do have Zuckerberg here with Facebook. We do have eBay. We do have Google. How did those companies start? Well, they started in garages, they started in living rooms. They didn't require a huge building like James Watt had for the steam engine. They didn't require a huge lot of money to start. They just were done by, well, boys, girls, adults, students like you and me. Everybody could be possibly the next Zuckerberg. Everybody could be the next Larry Page. It's much easier today than it was in uh, former times. It's not so much um, about the country. It's not so much about the company. It's a lot about the individual. So, what if everything was intelligent and connected? We talk about the Internet of Things. What if the Internet of Things is not the Internet of a lot of screens, but really the Internet of Things? Just start thinking about it. And I give you an example. Here, with Papel, the electronic paper, which can be read in sunlight even. It's an example like, well, Similar to Zuckerberg, not in uh, the dimension, but here, just a smart idea and brought to product with community, but it didn't take a lot of money, a lot of effort, and well, it's in the market. Uh, those um, electronic paper clocks, they work with Android, with iOS. So, it's much easier nowadays. And well, we as Intel, we want to support you. We mentioned in the other talk, it had been mentioned, the um, Make a Fair in Rome, where Galileo was announced, well, and just a couple of months before at IDF, Intel Quark, uh, SOC has been announced, and this year at MWC, Intel announced the IoT development kit. So Intel, 
wants to support you, wants to support the developers to bring your ideas, to bring your creativity to product, to market, and here to well help you with an ease, with an easy development, well with a huge possibility with, uh, with a lot of capabilities. That's about it. Thank you.